This is Jupiter Today for the 5th of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today there's eight Jupiter satellite events and two mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day transiting, going to be moving into quadrant three, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto starts the day in quadrant three, heading west. At zero hours, 49 minutes, the transit of EO ends. And at 156 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. By six hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west. And Europa is near its beginning of transit. Going to be moving into quadrant three, still heading west. And Callisto is getting near its western elongation. It's going to be going into quadrant four, heading east. At 6.20 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. At 8.35, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 9.13 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And at 11.28, the shadow of Europa egresses. By 12 hours UTC, EO is at its western elongation and is going to be moving into quadrant four, start heading east. And Europa has passed its transit and is now in quadrant three, heading west. At 1308 UTC, EO goes through an apogee, that's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 423,549.4 kilometers. And then from 1446 to 1451 UTC, Europa occults EO. It's a 4.2 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.547 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.196 magnitudes. And this occultation takes place 74.59 arc seconds from Jupiter. And then from 1630 to 1634 UTC, Europa eclipses EO. It's a 4.3 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.671 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.184 magnitudes. Fairly close to Jupiter, but still visible photographically and photometrically, 52.71 arc seconds, with Europa and EO being 42.92 arc seconds apart. At 1951 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter, and at 2317, EO reappears from Jupiter's shadow. And then by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is over in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede is still in quadrant one, heading east, but near its eastern elongation. Tomorrow it'll be going into quadrant two. And Callisto is now in quadrant four, heading east for the next few days. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. I've taken the orbital lines out to just show the ribbons. See how that looks for a little while. So here's Io and Europa. Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and again for the not quite sure how many times now we've had a symmetrical temporal and spatial connection between Eo and Callisto. It's been going on for the past week or so. And there's Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto. And finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all of these and invert the colors to get that for today. So 
24 hours of Jupiter's sky, standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out, seeing what's happening in the Jupiter system over the next 24 hours. Usually a very active sky. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at zero hours, 21 minutes. The second at 1017 and the third at 2013 UTC. There were no new images, no new radio data and no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, zero minutes, 34.1 seconds and a declination of positive 18 degrees, 0 minutes, 12.5 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 117.717 degrees, and that's 0.998 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 9.528 degrees, and that's 0 0.092 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 719,658,706 kilometers, and that's 2,108,358 kilometers further away than yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 87,848.25 kilometers per hour and that's 825.62 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between the Sun and Jupiter today is 800,269,229 kilometers, and that's 43,830 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. That gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,836.25 kilometers per hour and that's 4.17 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 147.06 degrees, CM2, 85.34 degrees, CM3, 9.1 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to everyone who is subscribing and watching every day. Always trying to make improvements to this podcasts. Some projects are in the works to give different views and different perspectives on this very dynamic system, which we're still learning a lot about and know very little about. So you can send your comments and questions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.